That's what they call the sin of omission. Aquinas says every sin of omission is a sin against justice. In other words, everyone here has a calling to contribute justice, celebration, community, and, and compassion back to the community. And this is the fullness of the four paths because each of the other paths brings us energy into path four, the via transformativa, which is the, the gift you're giving to the community. And then, of course, it starts all over. That's what I say. Then, it, then you go back to path one and it grows because what justice means, really, is more people at the table to savor the gifts of life. We're back to path one. And, and you and I know that there's more joy when you can share it with others. And the, 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 the scandal when there's injustice, as we saw on television at Katrina, when finally the poor made the television set, maybe the first time in my lifetime that I've seen the poor there honestly on television, when you realize the gap between the haves and the have-nots, that's ugly. It's ugly. And it's enough to move us as individuals and even our institutions and our, our, our powers. And that's because there's something inside all of us that yearns for justice. Because justice is, again, a, a cosmic dynamic. It's homeostasis. That's a scientific word for justice. Homeostasis, the built-in quest for balance and harmony. We have it in our bodies. We have it in our minds. That's why we dream at night, to bring the balance back when there's imbalance. We need it in our societies. Balance. Justice is another word for balance. Another contemporary word for justice is sustainability. I believe sustainability is kind of the 21st century word for justice because what is just holds. It's sustainable. What is unjust is not sustainable. The biblical tradition is this, that the, the earth sits on two pillars, justice and righteousness. And when there's injustice then, the pillar's broken and the whole earth is off kilter. And the example it uses in the Hebrew Bible, the Psalms, for example, is that the orphan and the widow, when they're not treated well, the whole earth is off kilter. Of course, now we have the ecological crisis, which is literally the whole earth being off kilter. When we're learning now that we're living through the last generation of polar bears, it's a very sad moment. And that's just one example of a species that's going because of global warming. When I was a kid in Madison, Wisconsin, I used to love to visit the zoo, and for some reason the polar bear was my favorite attraction there. I think partly because I couldn't believe that it got through the humid summers of, of, of Wisconsin with all that fur and everything. I, I really admired its, its uh, strength. But it's a very sad thing that we're living through the, the destruction of so many species, so many ecosystems. Why is this happening? Why is our species so complicit in this destruction? Because we've not fallen in love with creation enough. If we love polar bears, if we love the other species, we wouldn't tolerate the lifestyles that are bringing on this destruction. But we can still change our ways, and that's what the Via Transformativa is about. So what I've tried to do is outline here tonight, uh, based on this question I asked you, what is spirituality? And then going with you, it's living life in depth, it's living where life lives, and then what, name, what naming do we have of how you go about living life in depth? Well, this is one way of naming it that I, I reject, because notice, there's no word about justice here, there's no word about creativity here, and there's no word about joy and delight here. Other than that, it's great. I, I think these four paths work. This is the creation spiritual tradition. And I find these three eyes help to um, even delineate more profoundly what is at stake in the via positiva. That the, the experiencing uh, of spirit is, is an experience of immensity and intensity and intimacy. And as we can name these things, then we can live them more fully because... Um, there, you're going to have days that are via negativa days, but maybe someone around you is going through their...